Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain transfer function of two interesting RL circuits. In question 1, I will explain transfer function of high pass filter RL circuit. And in question 2, I will explain transfer function of low pass filter RL circuit. Not only that, here I will also explain frequency response of both of these circuits. So let us have question 1. That is based on transfer function of high pass filter RL circuit. See with high pass filter RL circuit, one should know input is connected in series with resistor and we take output across inductor. So in high pass filter RL circuit, input is given in series with resistor and we take output across inductor, right. To have transfer function, first of all we need to convert all these elements in frequency domain here i will consider laplace domain so in laplace domain this input v in of t that is represented as v in of s and this output v o of t that is represented as v o of s this resistance r that will remain as it is that is r and impedance of inductor l that is l into s so that is how we can replace all these elements in Laplace domain. To have transfer function, here we have inductor. So we need to consider zero initial condition. Let us assume with this inductor at time t is equals to zero, there is no energy, right? So at time t is equals to zero, as there is no energy inside inductor, one can say current through inductor is zero at time t is equals to zero. Now, we need to identify transfer function that is a ratio of output to input. So, transfer function is output voltage V naught of S divided by input voltage V in of S, right. To have transfer function, here I will apply voltage divider rule. If you apply voltage divider rule, then output voltage V naught of S that will be input voltage that is V in of S into this impedance that is impedance of inductor that is L into S divided by total impedance that is R plus L S, right. So here we will be having ratio of V naught of S divided by V in of S and that is transfer function. And what is that? that is ls divided by r plus ls right so now we have a transfer function of high pass filter rl circuit now let me explain response of high pass filter rl circuit to understand response here there are a few basics that you need to understand see with rl circuit here we have inductor and impedance of inductor that is xl that one should know and that is S into L. See, S is Laplace domain representation. S is equals to J omega. So, impedance of inductor, that is J omega L. Now, here, if you talk about lower frequencies, so as if you have omega, that is having lower value, then you will be having XL. That is J omega L. If omega is low, then XL is also low. Low means here we have short circuit, right. Low means here we have a short circuit. So as if this inductor is short circuit, then what will happen? If inductor is short circuit, then output across short circuit that will be zero. Means voltage that will be zero over here, right. Now here, if you talk about omega value which is high. So in case of omega to be high, here XL value that will be also high. As if XL value is high, you can say it is open circuit. As if XL is open circuit, what will happen? Input will go towards output. So here input that will go towards output. So here you will be observing at lower frequency output is 0 and at 
higher frequency output is increasing so this is what the basic response that is there with high pass filter right so here one can observe see we have high pass filter rl circuit in which we take output across inductor and that is happening as per this understanding right now let me explain transfer function of low pass filter rl circuit so here we have low pass filter rl circuit in which input is connected in series with inductor and we take output across resistor so in low pass filter rl circuit inductor is connected in series with input and we take output across resistor first of all we need to replace all these elements in laplace domain to have a transfer function so v in of t now that will be v in of s v o of t now that will be v o of s resistance r will stay as it is inductor l will be having impedance l into s now to have transfer function we need to consider zero initial condition so at time t is equals to zero energy inside inductor is zero means current through inductor is zero right now here transfer function that is the ratio of output to input so transfer function t of s that is output voltage v naught of s divided by input voltage v in of s to get transfer function here i will apply voltage divider rule as per voltage divider rule output voltage v naught of s that will be input voltage v in of s into this impedance that is r divided by total impedance that is r plus ls if you take this v in of s on this side then we will be having transfer function t of s right that is v naught of s divided by v in of s that is r divided by r plus ls and this is what transfer function for low pass filter let me explain how see here we are connecting inductor right and as i have told see inductor is having impedance that is s into l in laplace domain s is equals to j omega so impedance is j omega l now here if you have omega which is lower value then this xl will be also lower xl is low means here we have lower value means it is short circuit so here we will be having short circuit of inductor means input will flow towards output right so here input that will go towards output as if you have omega that is higher value so in that case this xl that will be also higher value higher value means open circuit so as if xl is open circuit then input cannot go towards output means output voltage that will stay zero so in this situation you can observe here with lower frequency input is going towards output right and as you increase the frequency output is going towards zero so this is what the response which we have it for low pass filter right so that is how one can identify high pass filter and low pass filter and transfer function that i have derived over here as well i hope now you are having fair enough idea about how we have rl circuits with high pass filter and low pass filter still if any confusion is there then just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video